After two years of trying to carry my own baby and after having consulted with four different doctors, they all agreed that I wasn't going to be able to carry a child. It was that fourth doctor who called me when I was walking into work for one of the busiest days I was going to cover the Michael Cohen hearing. And it was probably the lowest moment and realization that I've ever had. I was sure that we had tried most every protocol there is available. John and I considered surrogacy and adoption. Surrogacy felt like the right first step for us. Being matched with a surrogate is one of the most extraordinary experiences I have ever had. Our surrogate has been amazing. I, I can't, I can't explain just how wonderful she's been. Um, sorry. For her, this was about giving something to us um, that she felt a, a deep connection to. She was going to try to carry our baby and that first try didn't work. And I'll never forget when that call came in and I just collapsed into my couch and started crying. Good morning, the United Shutdown of America. All of a sudden, COVID hit. Like so many couples all across the country who were struggling with infertility, everything stopped. Initially, I was devastated by that. It took a lot for John and I to put our heart on the line again. After years and years of trying, I'm having a baby girl with John, and we are so excited. And it's with the help of a surrogate. Oh my God, she's smiling. <laughs> Kristen says she shared their story to remind people whatever your struggle, don't give up. She also said they found out just before she moderated the presidential debate. Remember that? Happy news that helped keep her calm. Now, Kristen Welker says she can't wait to share the whole story with her baby girl. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.